I first joined LMI in 1993. I was elected to the board and subsequently served 17 years as a member of the board for what I thought was going to be, at the time, a short stint. Admiral Zumwa was coming into office. When I was a naval officer in Vietnam, I had made a decision that I would resign from the Navy. I had some strong feelings about the way in which the Navy dealt with the issue of equal opportunity and treatment for all individuals. Admiral Zumwalt's comment was, I read your letter, you have a number of critical comments that you want to make. I said, Admiral, you want me to serve as an advisor? I said, I truly am not confident that you would be willing to do this. I said, however, if we were, here are the 14 most critical things that need to be done. He listened to me, he said that as CNO, at any time that I feel you are not working up to the expectations that I would expect from a member of my staff, I can ask you to leave. And any time you think that I'm not providing the support and the leadership in the areas that you're talking about, then you can leave, and those were the conditions in which we worked for the next three and a half years. Afterwards, we became very good friends. We coordinated until the time that he died. I was one of his pallbearers. It was a very, very interesting and unique experience. As you look at many people today who talk about the tenure of Admiral Zumwalt, of all the magnificent things that he's done, perhaps none stood out more in terms of improving not only race relations, but elevating the level of understanding and appreciation of the importance of equal opportunity and treatment for all Navy men and women.